an engineering feat that is 272 kilometers long. A rail line in the world's most rugged and difficult mountain terrain. It involves the world's highest rail bridge, higher than the Eiffel Tower. A track that involves 38 tunnels having a combined length of 120 kilometers. A project getting threatened by sliding mountains and sinking roads. A team is ready with immense resolve and extreme engineering to overcome the insurmountable challenges. Extreme Tech Patel Engineering. Jammu and Kashmir, a land of mountains, meadows and valleys. The beautiful valley remained in geographic isolation because of diverse barriers. It was decided to do something monumental that remained unthinkable since India's independence. Indian Railways along the wing of Northern Railway along with KRCL and Aircon decided to connect the mountainous region of Jammu and Kashmir by connecting it to the rest of the mighty Indian Rail Network. USBRL Uddampur Srinagar Baramulla Railway Line is 272 kilometers long and is being built along the plains, foothills and mountains. The sheer immensity of the project can be gauged by the fact that the whole Uddampur Srinagar Baramulla railway line will be passing over a whopping number of 927 bridges and under the 38 tunnels traversing an underground journey of 120 kilometers. The complexity does not stop there. The rail line is going to pass through areas of complex Himalayan geology which are prone to earthquakes. Patel Engineering has been entrusted with the construction of one of the longest tunnels on Katra Banihal section, the Tunnel T15 and also T14 part. Achieving this Herculean task will need the world's most advanced and modern technology. T15 project is one of the important components of USBRL project. USBRL means Udhampur, uh, Srinagar, Baramula project and uh, this is one of the longest tunnels in that region. This enormous project has been divided into three sections. Amongst the three, Katra Banihal is the most difficult portion. It is full of rivers and deep valleys. The challenges are innumerable. The geography is unforgiving, but the time is limited. As one of the longest tunnels on this line, the T-15 is being brought to life by a team of engineers at Patel Engineering. A dedicated team definitely need to have a plan and also a lot of determination to move forward. R.P. Khajuria is the project head who is heading the construction of one of the longest tunnel on Katra Banihal section the tunnel T15 and T14 part. यहां तक पटेल इंजीनियर की एसोसिएशन का सवाल है हम लोग एक इंपॉर्टेंट पैकेज कर रहे हैं पैकेज T15 9.7 किलोमीटर लॉन्ग है जैसे कि ये 3 किलोमीटर से ज्यादा है इसमें एक एस्केप टनल भी है उसके बीच में फिर हमारा T14 है जिसका 3.12 है इन दोनों टनलों के बीच में एक ब्रिज पड़ता है The massive scale and immense complexity demanded something special. Package T15 को बनाने के लिए हमें पहले तो logistics का पूरा देखना पड़ा, या फिर इसका हमें method statement बनाना पड़ा. But method will be adopted for the execution of package T15. Then हमें सारा design drawing उस आपसे करना पड़ा. Then हमारा portals जहाँ से हमने काम शुरू करना था, वहाँ preparatory work work करके approach वगैरह बनाके हमने काम शुरू किया.
Katra Banihal section is in the unconnected remote area. Bringing the construction materials and huge machineries was a formidable challenge in itself. New approach roads were the only solution to facilitate the continuous construction activity. Boots and machines are on the ground. The T-15 tunnel is to be made through this mammoth mountain. It is one of the longest among tunnels on the whole track with a length of 11.25 kilometers. What they had was a peripheral road going around one wall of the mountain. First, they needed an access road called Adit. This is the main tunnel, which is supposed to penetrate through the belly of the mountain. This project is the biggest challenge of geology. Heading is there, followed by the benching, then the invert, then the fixing of uh, geo membrane and geo textile, then the reinforcement fixing, then overt concrete, then the invert concrete. These all activities have to be carried out in parallel. New Austrian tunneling method. This process is a sequential excavation method. In this support method, the tunnel perimeter is stabilized with the help of sprayed concrete. With the initial blast, a headway is made, and as the engineers move ahead, they are stopped by a trickle of water. The trickle soon turned into a torrent. High level of water made it very difficult for the workforce to even enter inside the tunnel. Everything stops. Inside the tunnel, there are a lot of challenges. One of the challenges when the wedge formation or the collapses are there. Loose rock fall is there. If you encounter the water aquifer, then it's a challenge. Continuous dewatering is required. Ventilation is required for the oxygen to the working people and the machinery. A lot of effort is put in to drain the water out. Heavy duty machines are deployed to pump out the already leaked water. But the seeping water is always more than they could drain out. The only way forward is to keep draining out the water and start other activities as well. After the groundwater is expelled, the next step is to execute and attach geotextile and geomembrane. This is to keep the inside of the mountain dry. With the current part of the tunnel waterproofed and secured, it is time to clear the immeasurable amount of waste materials. Only then, the engineers will be able to move ahead in the tunnel. Advanced hydraulic tunnel drilling machine is used for drilling and support system. A large muckyard is used to store the wet muck. The construction activities are being carried out simultaneously at the site of the tunnels. Bridge number 61 and other adits at a very hectic pace. The team is all set to drill and control blast their way further inside the tunnel T15. Explosives are carefully placed in the holes created. The entire area is cordoned off. The dispersing cloud of dust rises before settling. The blast has been successful, but something is not right. There are sudden hectic activities in the control room and on the side. The engineers have been stopped again by another natural force. After water, it is the earth, sliding from the top and sinking beneath. 
the engineers applied double wire mesh and then proceeded with the short grade. They fixed anchors of the length of 9 meters. These are called self-drilling bolt. This is how the team stabilized the whole area. The sliding of the mountain has been stopped. MPBX readings confirm it. The engineering has prevailed finally. It is an incredible achievement in the face of adversity. USBRL is a project of national importance. When completed, it will provide an alternative and reliable transportation system to the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. In the struggle between the immovable object and an unstoppable force, the engineering has prevailed, paving a way for humankind to move ahead.